Please, 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 I'm chocolate, I'm in a rock. This is the afternoon services. All right. This is the afternoon services, and what I would like to say is this here. Did you? Have you fast today? Meaning, don't eat no food, just drink water. Now, the reason why I'm put, putting this out there, because this is the time to cleanse your body out. This is the time to cleanse the poison out of your body. That'll see how disciplined you really are. How much discipline are you? See, I chose today to do that. The reason why I continue on focusing on the journey that I'm on. Well, listen here. We're all on a journey. And whatever journey that takes you, hope it's a positive journey. Keep your mind, your body, and focus on one unit. Today's lesson is, are you still a slave? By Sister Shahala Zahar Ali. One of the elders. I'll be posting up this video today. So, gods and goddesses, get ready. And for one thing, I will say this. Stay focused throughout these holidays. Stay focused throughout these holidays. Liquor, booze, drugs, women, men, Food, food, pharmaceutical pills, all these things is a trend, a trend that you've been doing over and over again. Some of you look older than you're supposed to be. I'm 50 years old. I'm 50. Do I look like I'm 50? There's a reason why. There's a time you got to tell yourself when you're going to stop this madness. When you're going to stop indulging in so much activities. Allow your mind and your body to relax and stop the flow on its natural course. Think about it. When you are going to take yourself seriously and begin to transform your mind, your body into its natural way of living? Overdosing on all the things of the system of things that don't belong to you. If you're indigenous people, it don't belong to you. If you're descended from Africa, it doesn't belong to you. Here in this system of things, these concepts come from Europe. Think about it. Do your research. It's right in your face. Your religion is not your religion. Your history that they try to tell you, your history. Really? They're not telling your history correctly. In the last 10 years, they just, they just now confess that the black man is the original man on the planet. They ain't tell you this shit 30 years ago, 40 years ago, because they ain't give a goddamn. They didn't tell you that. They go, Adam and Eve is the first person on the planet. They were the first people. And they showed you the image of white people, which false doctrine, false lies. That's religion for you. But we're going to find out if you're still a slave. Some of you are. Let's get into it. The elder, Sister Shahrazad Ali, about to break it down. Past the words, you'll never see her real smile. Me, 
angel walk with you every step. Give you the strength, give you the faith, and the will to carry on. Yes, duties in every move you make. There's a confidence there in you that makes the world bow down. Show them, show off your dignity. Show them your pride. Be never afraid. Declare you ain't nothing to hide. children and the children are biracial. The World Health Organization only recognizes two kinds of life, human life on earth. White and non-white. It's only two kinds. Just like there are only two sexes. Male and female. You need a re-education on that. want to be men. We have men who have failed at being men who now want to be women. Those are problems we have. We need a, re a new education, a re-education on gender identification. And I know that's difficult because the white people are trying to make a gender-free society. You know, when they were having, when we were having, rather, illegitimate children, or children out of wedlock or whatever, then they call them illegitimate little bastard children or whatever. And then when the white woman started doing that, now it's called single parenting. You know? So we need, you know, we need a, a new education on their language. See, they changed the language to suit their social idea at the moment. And every time they change their social behavior, we change ours to do what they're doing. So when the women, uh, the white women went to the white men and said, listen, we get ready to get liberated from y'all, so we tired of this. We not gonna be in the house no more. We not gonna be cooking. We get ready to go get a job in corporate America. We wanna work outside the home too. Well, we as black women, we jump right in that. Except we didn't have nothing to get liberated from the black man from. He wasn't no, no big, big man over us. We were all both struggling, trying to get the equal opportunity. I'm talking about late 50s now when it started, trying to get jobs, trying to get housing. We, we, we didn't have a, a, he didn't have any big stuff over us. The white woman came and introduced us to the feminist movement and made everything we were working with a man against a woman and a woman against man. They made us take sides. 
And so we left our men. Many of us set an example and went with the white woman's liberation movement and we still carrying that idea today. And they taught us. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We got to go in deep. See, that liberation bull crap, that black people, black men and women, had nothing to do with that. There's so many topics in our whole, our whole um, service you can pull from. But I'm pulling from the liberation. I mean, how do our people just follow this other c culture and act like it's all right to do it? That liberation thing, liberating from the man and splitting up with the man, I always thought that was a plan, a designed plan for the white woman to put that into the black woman's head and sure enough, she ran with it. This is 2017, what you think they talk about right now? You can't do nothing for me, I can do for myself. Hmm? What else does she be talking about? I don't need you, I'm taking you to court. I'm gonna make sure I get every dime from you. Huh? You dress like them, you talk like them, walk like them, you eat like them, you've become them. You don't think you're a slave? You're not even dedicated to your woman or your children. No, you're not. You run away from your problems. You don't want to sit down and have a, a decent conversation. You used to put your woman on top of the pedestal and say there is no other greater than her. You sitting up there looking at this white woman and these other cultural females and sitting there, oh, I got to have that. This is the great one. Yeah, you, I'm talking to you. But you so psychologically damaged. You got that Willie Lynch syndrome. Do I need to get that book? And show you again. I'll be right back. Willie Lynch, making of a slave. I got my books. Do you do your homework? Do you do your homework? about it. That liberation had messed our people up. Mm, mm, mm. That's what it did. It messed our people up. In 2017, all the evidence is right around you. All the evidence. Y'all fine doing your drugs. Your, your fucking mind is always polluted. You don't want to see nothing. You don't want to hear.